Macklemore hair seems to be the chosen haircut of the racists now. I call on Macklemore to get online and denounce his own haircut. And, well, that's what Macklemore did. And you can see the response was overwhelmingly positive with people saying, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Macklemore, thank you, Macklemore, for saving the day. You are an example that we should all follow. Do not get a white supremacist, neo-Nazi haircut, you racist. <laughs> Crazy times, isn't it? My first question is, how did this even start? How did social justice to this degree dive into such a degeneracy to where everything you do is wrong? Everything. Like, let's go back. I think it really all started with a cultural appropriation. I think that's really, really started hitting home in the last few years was people getting upset and saying that you can't wear certain hairstyles and you can't wear certain clothing based upon someone else's culture. Hey, you like Mexico? You like Mexican culture? Uh, don't wear a, 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 don't wear certain clothes. Don't wear certain hats. Don't wear certain haircuts. Because by doing so, you're cultural. You're committing cultural appropriation, which is insulting to the culture. Whereas, if you actually sit back and you actually ask most people who are Mexican, if you like, when I went to Japan, I wore some Japan Japanese clothing that was very common in that region. Um, they don't give a shit. They don't. They really don't care. In fact, most people don't have an issue with it, and they think it's it's kind of cool when someone wants to be involved in their culture, especially when they start dressing like that culture. And they like the culture and love the culture, and they think it's a wonderful thing. But there's these social justice warriors, as I like to call them, and I don't even make social justice videos much anymore, but this is something that's getting, it's still escalating, it's still getting worse, and I don't know how it's still getting worse. Because right when you think that, wow, that's really insane. That's an insane line of thinking. That's a crazy thought process that you have. That's crazy reasoning. That's not logical. It just gets more illogical. And it gets more insane. It's like this level of social justice just keeps increasing, 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 way beyond the level of 9,000 to the point where I don't know what's going to happen in the next three years. I, I, I thought by now that social justice would have at least started to die out, but it seems to be on the rise and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we've established cultural appropriation is bad. Don't do it. Of course, I don't actually believe that. I think, you know, wearing clothing, wearing hairstyles, one culture doesn't own a hairstyle, wear whatever hairstyle you want. But now we've reached a point where hairstyles, that's a normal haircut, is deemed in support of neo-Nazism, which is just outlandish. It's... <laughs> I, I, I'm almost so shocked that this is a thing now and that a popular celebrity got rid of his haircut because of... Well, I mean, he already had got rid of it, but people were calling him out for being uh, racist because of his hair. And all it is is short on the sides and hair on the top. What defines a racist haircut? Like, I, what, what determines white supremacy by a haircut? How, do you, how is that a determining factor on what makes something racist? The people watching, this is a question for my audience. I know most of you are not social justice wearers, but I want answers to this. What is the determining factor that, that showcases a haircut being racist what because uh, a nazi wore a haircut when i was growing up this was actually one of my my more common haircuts my parents would give me it was really short on the sides and some ha long hair on the top macklemore is innocent and anyone who tries to put this racist label on him because of his haircut you need to be able to back up and explain how exactly it is racist because we've reached this point in, in time where everything is racist right but nothing's ever explained on how it is racist and and i'm all open like i'm always open to hear what people have to say and you really think a haircut's racist by all me like here's the thing if you got like a haircut with like a swastika you know in the top of your hair you got your really short hair and you had a swastika on the top of your head then yeah i can understand that but we're talking just short on the sides hair on the top am i a neo-nazi am i a white supremacist because i have testicles and nazis had testicles i had fre i have freckles on my body right my shoulders i have freckles all over my arms I'm sure there's some neo-Nazis back in the 1940s that had some freckles on their body. Again, what is the determining factor that determines a, a racist haircut like this? And the fact that a celebrity is actually 
responding and saying that he no longer has this and denounces the haircut as being racist just goes to show how insane people are becoming. We have cultural appropriation. We now have Nazi haircuts. We have the biggest trend, which is every single person, if you are white, is racist. It doesn't matter your upbringing. It doesn't matter anything about how you grew up. You being white makes you racist. You have no choice. On birth, you are a horrible person for being white. And it's a shame because it seems like in this day and age, people use this, that you're white, that you wear certain clothes that they don't like, as a reason to shut down any sort of conversation that you may have. Anything that you have to say of value, if you want to chime in with your opinion, you don't have an opinion. Because you're white, because you're wearing these types of clothes, because you have a neo-Nazi haircut. And it's, it's, this is scary to me. Like, I don't, it's terrifying to me to think about, like, if I have a child and I put him in public education... What's going to happen to him or her? Now, these are, these are things that I'm... If, if social justice to this extent doesn't die out in the next decade, I don't know where we're going to be. Everyone should have equal opportunity. It doesn't matter your skin color. I don't care about somebody's skin color. I don't care about your haircut. I don't care about the clothes you wear. As long as you are not perpetuating damaging ideologies or damaging perspectives that take away one's ability to ha exercise freedom of speech, to get a job, to get an education. I don't have a problem with you. But the moment you start announcing that haircuts are racist is the moment that you take away from actual racism, from actual neo-Nazis, from actual white supremacists. You're playing into their game and you're making a word that actually has true depth and meaning and evil behind it, and turn it into something where it's not applicable. I want us to be able to move forward and be able to have diversity, to be able to have conversations, to have dialogue between people who have opposing viewpoints. And it just seems to be the case that this is not possible anymore. It really is. I don't think it's possible. It's not possible to have a civil conversation with someone who is, you know, caught up in social justice. And it's because they use these way, this, this way to shut down conversation by the, your clothing, by your skin color. And it's, it blows my mind. I mean, just look at the state of Evergreen College just a little bit south of me. That college is, is, is a hellhole. Teachers aren't even allowed to teach because the students demanded that they have a, a no white day where, students, where teachers couldn't come in and teach and educate people. It's not right. It's terrifying. And the amount of violence that these people are using in the name of white supremacy, in the name of social justice. I wish I could do something to fix it. I wish I could say, do something to change this. And I don't think there's nothing I can do other than try to respond to it logically and respond to why it's not okay to label people racist simply because of their color of their skin, simply because of a haircut. The biggest problem I have right now with social justice is we're taking away words that have meaning. Rape, neo-Nazism, white supremacy, racism. These words don't mean what they used to mean anymore. We've downplayed these words to mean... To use, did we use these words just to communicate things we don't agree with anymore? We don't like this, we're going to call it this. And the amount of damage that does to people who are actually victims of racism, victims of abuse, it goes to show that you really don't care about those people. It goes to show that you're all about pushing your own narrative, and you're all about shutting down anybody who has a differing opinion. And when that happens... It's no longer about education. It's no longer about learning. It's all about what you want. And if you run your life with only, if you run, if you, if you live your life in a way that it's all about what I want, what I think, I'm the right always, 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 you're going to have a wake up call in the next 20 some years about your life. Your ego will make you a miserable person. And I, I truly believe that a lot of these crazy social justice people that claim, you know, racism for your haircut. They are deep down. They may not show it, 
Well, they are miserable people. It is truly unhealthy to think the way that they do. And I wish more people could see that. I wish more people could see the damage of social justice and how toxic, toxic it is for one's mental health. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Scary times, ladies and gentlemen. Scary times. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out all my links down below, my Amazon affiliate links. Best way to support me through Amazon. Shop using my links, absolutely free. Check out my Discord server, check out my Patreon. But before we end here, it's important that I recommend an audiobook for your listening entertainment and enjoyment. The book's called SJW's Always Lie, Taking Down the Thought Police. It's a very, very, very good book if you're somewhat confused, as like I am, on how exactly the social justice has started, the problems with it, and why ultimately it needs to stop if it ever will. If you want to listen to this audiobook, check it out on Audible. You can find it on Audible using my vanity URL, audible.com slash Repsion for a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook for your listening entertainment and enjoyment. I recommend this book because it's also in relation to what I'm talking about today, but it gives you a very good understanding, and this, this writer is, does a really good job of explaining the issues for why social justice is toxic and why it's bad for society and why the USA is on a slow decline if this continues in the next 20 years. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.